Welcome to Jingle Jam. My name is Mona. I'm the Next Gen Pastor here. Maybe I've met some of you guys. Maybe I haven't met. I hope to meet you at some point. We are so excited that you are with us for Jingle Jam. We're going to be talking about the greatest light show of all time. One of my favorite traditions is to hop in the car with my family and go and check out all of the different neighborhoods who have the craziest lights, uh, the craziest light displays. Some of them go very simple and they're beautiful. Some of them go all out. Some of them coordinate with all their other houses and it is just the best. But today we're gonna to be talking about the greatest light show of all time, which was Jesus being born. Jesus, the light of the world. Over 2000 years ago, he entered into the world and it changed everything. So I am so excited that we get to do this thing together and we get to learn about it. If you had a chance to get one of our Jingle Jam boxes, we are so excited about what's in that. There's some hot chocolate, there's some popcorn. So find a time this season, whether you've already made it for this or sometime later in the season, to just be together as a family as you enjoy those goodies. Second thing that you'll find in there is wrapping paper and glow sticks. And you're actually gonna need those later. They're gonna have you pause and get those. So be sure that you've got those close so that you can have those. And if you did not get a Jingle Jam box, 100%, okay. Go ahead and find some paper around your house, whether it's wrapping paper or something that you can crinkle up. I don't wanna give it away, but go ahead and find some paper that you don't mind giving away or maybe even throwing away by the end of it. And then also find something to represent a candle. Maybe it is a candle. Maybe it is, uh, maybe you have glow sticks at home. Maybe it's just the, the app on your phone, the flashlight. Whatever it is, that will be perfect. And there'll be a chance for us to use that later. We are so excited for this. As I've already said, enjoy this time with your family as we celebrate the greatest gift of all time, the greatest light show of all time, Jesus being born. We'll see you at the end. Oh, hey, <laughs> yep, I'm that guy. I love Christmas and I love Christmas lights. Yeah, everything about it. Houses with lights, buildings with lights, reindeer with lights, and of course, trees with lights. So while everyone is out, I decided to work on a little surprise. Figured I'd have time. Everybody's out at the mall, so I should see them sometime in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> I'm working on making this the best light show they have ever seen. I've got your ordinary colored lights, traditional white lights. I even have a light up star at the very top. I got music that is set to play. I'm even decorating the entire wall. Then when I hear them pull up, I'm gonna turn out all the lights. And when they walk in, plugging these two ends together and boom. Oh, a light show that I think angels would be jealous of, <laughs> but I need to test it first. So let me just, there we go. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Let's test this light show out because nothing says Christmas like a billion twinkling lights. Here we go, everyone. Count down with me, three, two, one. Um, that wasn't, <laughs> uh, hold on. That wasn't what I had in mind. Maybe I just blew a fuse. Wow, this reminds me when the power went out last summer and we had to eat in the dark. We couldn't even see what we were eating. It also enlightened us to the perils of keeping cat food in the pantry. Ugh. Great memories though. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. While I go check the fuse box, how about you and your family play a game? This is what you do. Get some wrapping paper for everyone who's gonna play. It can be a piece of wrapping paper for each person, two pieces per person, or even a whole roll if you want to. It's up to you. Next, you're gonna turn off all the lights in the room and make it dark. 
If you can't do that, you can just have everyone playing the game close their eyes. Finally, using the wrapping paper with your eyes closed, you're gonna have 60 seconds to try and sculpt any object you can think of that has to do with Christmas. Got it? Go ahead and pause the video now to get everything set up, and I'll meet you here when you're ready. There, I made an angel, right? Or is it more of a Christmas ornament? <laughs> Oh well, you get the idea. I'm sure you're gonna do a lot better than I did. Okay, when I say go, you're gonna have 60 seconds to sculpt whatever object you can think of that has to do with Christmas. And then afterwards, everyone's gonna try to guess what you made. Ready, set, go! I hope you made some great stuff. I'm sure you did. I just can't see it because I'm still in the dark. However, I think it might be a blown fuse. Normally, I don't like to fiddle with the fuse box. Sometimes I'm, uh, well, accident prone. <clears throat> Ow. Okay, note to self, don't touch that one again. And that just happened. I knew I should have checked the batteries. Hold on, no worries. Oh, you know what? There's an old black light somewhere around here that we used in the fall. And I think it's battery powered. Maybe this will help. Oh, this is kind of cool. Again, not exactly what we're going for, but this is fun. <laughs> I really don't think the problem is in the fuse box. All the switches look good. Maybe if I go back out to the tree. <laughs> look, everything is glowing. <laughs> Looks wild, doesn't it? Oh, that's an idea. Not for my lights, but for another game you can play at home. For this game, you'll need some more wrapping paper. First, you're gonna take one pattern of wrapping paper and make a bunch of paper balls or snowballs then take a different pattern of wrapping paper and make a bunch more snowballs. Next, the person playing the game is gonna stand on one side of the room. On the other side of the room, you're gonna place a bowl, a bucket, or a cardboard box, whatever you have available. Finally, you're gonna have 60 seconds to see how many of your snowballs you can get into the bowl on the other side of the room. Now, the rest of your family is gonna try and stop you from getting your snowballs into the bowl, standing on each side of the room, and they're gonna throw their own different pattern snowballs at yours, trying to prevent you from getting your snowballs into the bowl. It's like a snowball fight indoors, which is fun and ridiculous. <laughs> of course, depending on where you live, you could just go outside and have a snowball fight too. Your choice. Let's uh, close this thing carefully. <clears throat> okay, go ahead and pause the video now to get everything set up and I'll meet you back here when you're ready to play. Okay, remember, you only have 60 seconds to see how many of your snowballs you can get into the bowl while your family will use their snowballs to try and stop you. Have fun. Ready, set, go!
I could have been doing that instead of this. I bet that was fun. Was it fun? I bet it was more fun than trying to get this thing to work. Sorry, just a little stressed. <laughs> but I think I've checked everything I need to check. Twice. So, I think we're about to see an incredible light show. Please let there be a light show. Count down with me. Three, two, one and a half, one. Boom! What? How is that even possible? Only the star on the top of the tree lit up? How is that? Seriously? Listen, I'm sorry. I was really hoping to create something spectacular, something that really wowed and said Christmas, but I guess we have to settle for this little star at the top. I'm not sure how I'm gonna explain this to my family when they get home. Oh, that's right. They're having a great time Christmas shopping and celebrating the whole reason for, well, everything. I guess I need to remember that too. Maybe we all do, yeah. I need to take a break from trying to be an electrician for a minute and remember the real reason we have lights in the first place. Check this out. loved God and talked to him every day. And then one day, God sent an angel, Gabriel. And the angel told her, you're going to have a baby, God's son. Mary was super surprised, but she trusted God. And so did the man she married, Joseph. A little before the baby was going to be born, the Roman ruler ordered everyone to go to their hometown to be counted. So Mary and Joseph had to travel to the town of Bethlehem. But the town was filled with so many people, there was no room for them. They tried everywhere, but no one had room. Until finally, someone offered a really unusual place to stay, with the animals. And that's where Jesus was born. At the same time, there were some shepherds out in the nearby field, just doing their thing, watching their sheep in the night. Then, suddenly, an angel showed up. The shepherds were kind of shocked. But the angel told them, Don't be afraid. I've got amazing news for you. God sent his son as a baby to save everyone. You'll find him wrapped up in cloths and lying in a feeding trough for animals. And then, a million angels filled the sky and sang out glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. Then, it all got dark again. The shepherds jumped up and raced as fast as they could to Bethlehem. Around the same time, God placed a bright star in the sky, far to the east. Some wise scholars saw it and knew it meant a brand new king had been born set off to find him, following the star. They traveled for days and weeks and months. Until at last, they reached Jesus. When they arrived, they gave Jesus some really awesome gifts. And now everyone, everywhere, across time, can celebrate the birth of Jesus. 
the light of the world. Yeah, Jesus is the light. He came to show us how to love. He came to show us a path to live with God forever. That's a lot of light. You know what? It doesn't matter how dark things get. If I can remember that Jesus was born, lived, died, and rose again because he loves me, well, I have the light. Lots of light. That's Christmas. And you know what? Maybe it's better that we only have one star lit right now. After all, it all started with a little bitty light in a manger, didn't it? I think I'll put this back up where it belongs. Oh, oh, can you believe it? It's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> we have light! Oh, it's a light show! Look at all this! <laughs> We're home! Wow, it's dark. Did you know the wall switch was turned off? Uh, yeah! I just wanted to make sure you made all this happen. <laughs> Come and see what I've done! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, can you believe that? They, they forgot to turn on the light switch. Oh, but when they did, it was so bright and it was so cool. They did so much work to make that space so cool. One of my other favorite traditions of the Christmas season is Christmas Eve when we do the candlelight service. The thing is, it starts with one candle and then that person goes and lights their the person right next to them their candle and then they light the next person's candle and then they light the next person's candle. And so this whole room is dark, but one candle by one candle by one candle, the whole room is so bright and it is the most beautiful thing because it reminds us all that it started a long time ago with Jesus being the light of the world. It started with him and he shared that light with somebody who then shared his light with somebody who then shared their light with somebody all the way to where it got to us. And that is the best part of what it means to follow Jesus. The greatest light show of all time is that we get to be a part of this. And you know, last year, because of COVID, we didn't all get to be together for the candlelight Christmas Eve service. And this year, we do. We would love to see you guys at our Christmas Eve candlelight services. If you are interested in that, you can find more information on our website. And then we get to be a part of this thing, this reminder that we are all in this together. And it starts with Jesus being the light of the world, and it leads to us also being the light of the, in the world. So we'll see you Christmas Eve for our candlelight Christmas Eve service. Thanks. Have a great day. I remember thinking when I was a little bit smaller that all my days would be filled with happiness and fun. But then I discovered it's not that easy. Some days can get you down, but the rest is up to us. I won't hesitate to see something great. Cause I choose, I choose joy. All the lights on bright snow on the ground. I hear the jingle bells jingling all around. Ho, ho, ho. There ain't nothing like the Christmas joy. All the carolers. A little bit of laughter To spin some bad luck into a real good time It doesn't matter what life brings You gotta focus on the bright side We can be thankful, we can be grateful The choice is yours and mine I won't hesitate to see something great Cause I choose, I choose joy, joy.
some Christmas cookies. I want to see some Christmas lights. Oh, there ain't nothing like the Christmas joy. Let's go. Sing it out. I want some Christmas cookies. I want to see some Christmas lights. Oh, there ain't nothing like the Christmas joy. Merry Christmas, everybody. All the lights are bright, snow on the ground. I hear the jingle bells jingling all around. Oh, oh, oh. There ain't nothing like the Christmas joy. All the carolers caroling through the town. Everybody celebrate, it's going down. Oh, oh, oh. There ain't nothing like the Christmas joy. All the lights are bright, snow on the ground. I hear the jingle bells jingling all around. Oh, oh, oh. There ain't nothing like the Christmas joy. Christmas.